Hey guys, it's Frenchie Powell with Permaculture Northeast, bringing you guys a video today about one of America's classic nuts, in fact, one of the world's classic nuts, and that is acorns. So today I wanted to do a video as I'm kind of thinking through processing these acorns. You know, what are uh, acorns, like why should they be considered as a permaculture food? Um, how do we process them? And then also like, how do they taste and um, how are they useful uh, when it comes to eating? So why acorns, processing acorns and eating acorns. So to start off with the why, you know, acorns are one of those nuts that produces in extreme abundance. Okay, if you have a black walnut tree, you will get black walnuts and you'll get a certain amount if you have, you know, uh, I always blank on this name, hickory. If you have a hickory tree, you'll get hickory nuts and you'll get a fair bit. But if you have an oak tree, you will get massive amounts of acorns. And so, you know, sheer production is kind of thing number one. Thing number two would be, you know, the ease of collecting and uh, de shelling, I'll say. Because with black walnuts, it's a complete pain. You know, you have to find a way to de hull the walnuts and get the hulls off um, without getting yourself horribly stained. That one's bad. Uh, with hickory nuts, you have to find a way to crack the nuts. And, you know, you can crack your mind in trying to do so. Like, it's, they're extremely hard to to get open and then they're extremely hard as well to pick out of the shell and so once you crack the nut you know if you haven't pulverized the meat inside it can be very difficult to extricate it or get it out but with acorns I'm just using a basic nutcracker and breaking it by hand and getting an extraordinary amount of meat out so you know I've uh, let me get it all in one photo. So there's the meat from the acorn and you can see it's a very sizable ratio to where you actually get a substantial amount out of the acorn itself. And so here's one that's intact and show you guys. So that is the acorn meat, the edible portion. And, uh, you know, acorns are extremely nutritious. You can do a quick Google search. Uh, it has a lot of beneficial fats, amino acids, and, and the like. Um, Google will tell you a lot more. I haven't committed to memory all the uh, health benefits of acorns. That was another bad one. Um, so it's extremely healthy. In fact, it's been useful, as I've read, like throughout human history as one of the staple foods that's a perennial crop and so Native Americans in certain cases could have up to half of their diet in calories or more uh, per year coming from acorns. In fact in California some tribes would even wage war against other tribes in order to capture oak tree uh, groves and to have access to the acorns that they provided. And so from North America to Europe, it's been a, a important part of history. So it's kind of a heritage crop, if we look at it that way. Um, another benefit is obviously it's perennial. They'll produce acorns for many years. You don't have to replant the trees. Uh, huge benefits wildlife wise, you know, squirrels love them, deer love them. Uh, if you're the type that would eat the squirrels and deer, then, you know, even additional benefit. And then, let's see, are there any other, that's another bad one. Are there any other benefits to the acorns? Health benefits, growing benefits. Oh, and they're pretty much found on most every continent in the world. Uh, and in every, at least in North America where we're at, you have northern varieties, southern varieties, eastern and western varieties. So almost anywhere you go, you'll be able to find acorns of some variety. I'm not gonna get into much of the detail as the differences between black and white oaks. And uh, 
you know, what, what to look for in those. You can watch other videos, they'll easily tell you the differences in identification. Uh, right now, we're just going to stick with moving on to our second topic, which is processing acorns. Okay, so acorns uh, by themselves, unfortunately, you know, I go into all the detail as to why acorns are great, why oak trees are wonderful, but if you eat the acorn meat itself, it's disgusting. It's like, why don't we eat these things? Well, because of tannins, okay? Uh, they're what give tea, their tea, it's dark flavor, or dark, dark flavor, dark color, um, you know, it, it's what turns water tan if like a lot of plant material gets into it and soaks there. Um, but tannins, it, it makes the meat extremely bitter and what's uh, called astringent, so that dry feeling you get in your mouth. If you eat it raw, it tastes absolutely disgusting. Um, that being said, also the tannins can lock up a lot of the nutrients if you did you know, hunker down and eat it raw, it'll uh, lock up a lot of the fats and uh, I think the amino acids and make it indigestible and it'll just pass through your system. So it's not good to eat it raw, it's not tasty to eat it raw, so what do we do with it? Well, there are two ways that I know of to process acorns and that is the cold water method and the hot water method. And you have to do either or, you can't do both. If you put them in a pot of cold water and you heat it up to boiling with the acorns in it, then that will cause the tannins to bind with the nutrients and the starches and it won't work. But what you have to do is you have to soak the acorns to get the tannins out. Now, cold water, you can toss all the acorns in, change the water every, uh, you know, once, twice a day, and uh, for a week or so, a week, two weeks, and you'll get rid of the tannins. You wanna soak it how long? Well, you wanna soak it until the bitterness goes away. So I've got some cold soaking in our kitchen, and I, I change the water out, and in a week or so, I'll probably taste a little bit. If it's still bitter, I'll let it go, maybe another half a week to a full week, and then taste them again. Boiling them is the other method, so two methods, cold water, hot water. Start with a pot of boiling water, toss them in, boil them till the water becomes a dark red color, dump it out, add more hot water, bring it to a boil with the acorns there, and uh, you know, boil them until they taste bland. Uh, you won't ever get clear water if you boil or cold soak them. Like it won't, you won't be able to add water and it'll just stay clean. It'll always change color. But once they lose their bitterness, then they're good. Now, that's kind of the processing. From there, if you've cold processed them, you can make them into a flour. If you boil process them, the flour won't hold together when you go to cook it. But if you cold process, uh, process them, you can grind them into a flour and then use them for cooking. Uh, but I don't have a grinder here at the house, so my favorite thing to do actually is to eat them as the chunks, as the halves or, or thirds, as it were. And uh, when I eat them raw, I tried that and it was disgusting. Uh, not disgusting, it was bland, you know, it, it wasn't something that I would ever want to be in a position of life where I have to eat, you know, processed acorns by themselves. Um, that being said, they're bland and uh, don't leave a, the greatest, like, flavor in your mouth, so I was like, well, how can I cook them up to be palatable? And so I tried them in, you know, Three bad ones there in a row. Um, I tried cooking them in oil with like garlic and, and some salt and stuff like that. And that was all right. It tasted great for like the first two or three seconds of eating them. Then the flavor of the seasoning went away and I was left with the bland aftertaste. So they don't, you know, if you picture the meat, like it doesn't absorb flavor easily. Um, and so I, I might try long soaking them, you maybe even pickle them, I'm not sure, I haven't tried it, I might, but I haven't. Um, 
but what they work really well in, and I can tell you this from experience, is mixing it with other foods that have a fair bit of flavor by themselves. So I view acorns as an ideal dish to, or an ideal um, nut crop to add to other dishes. Ingredient, that's the word I'm looking for. Acorns are the ideal ingredient to add to other dishes for nutritional value. You can add them to rice and lentils uh, to add some more meatiness. You can add some, uh, you can add them to stir fries. Uh, they'll, they won't really, because they never change in flavor, but they do add more sustenance to your meal. And so it's a great additive and it doesn't really change the flavor of the meal as well. And so that's what we've been doing with acorns. Uh, a little bit on as you're harvesting the acorns, like I've said, there's been a few bad ones. Uh, you do get mainly three different things that can make the acorn go, four different things that can make the acorn go bad. One is it can get desiccated, so it can somehow have a flaw in the shell and you'll crack it open and it'll be dry and like hard as a rock. I don't usually use those. I've tossed a few in my good pile if they're soft enough, but generally I toss those out. Number two is you can get a caterpillar from a type of moth uh, inside the acorn shell. It'll be a little white, looks like a grub, but it'll have some legs on it and it'll kind of crawl in the, ignore my motions, uh, it'll crawl in a fashion that caterpillars generally do and it'll have legs. Bringing us to third item that can go wrong with your acorns is they can have an actual grub in them from a beetle that lays its eggs uh, and when you like there's no way to tell if you have an acorn that I know of uh, to tell if there's a grub inside or not you crack it open you find out and in fact I think yeah so here is one that I cracked open and immediately it's dark and there's the grub if you can kind of see it wriggling around in there a little hard to see but there's two two and a baby uh, grubs in this acorn so I don't know if I'll be able to show you but you can see the little brown head there and they do not have legs so the grubs do not have legs, um, but they make the acorn go bad, so you toss it out. If you're the adventurous type, the grubs are actually nutritional and or nutrition, yeah, nutritional and of great value. Uh, nutritious, that's the word I'm looking for. The grubs are nutritious. Um, they are edible. I don't like eating them a whole lot. Uh, I have. I don't chew them. I'll just put them in my mouth and swallow them with like some tea as like a vitamin pill almost. Uh, but generally I'll save them and maybe take them to the chickens or, or stuff like that. Kind of cycle in through the uh, nutrients, collect them, put them in the fridge for a little while until I'm able to give them to the chickens. But uh, yeah, that can make your acorns go bad is a grub inside. The other one is generally a fungus, um, be it mold, be it some sort of fungus that gets in the nut and makes it go bad. And generally, let me see, I think this one might have a fungus in it and the reason is it's multicolored on the outside. It's not a solid brown or a light brown or a dark brown, it's got a splotching of dark mixed in with some light. And generally that's a sign that, you know, there's a fungus in, and I was incorrect on this one. See, it's, I'm still at the point where it's hard for me to tell, you know, if the acorn's good or not. So I generally harvest most all of them. And that was actually a perfect acorn. Uh, great example, Frenchie, you know. Um, <laughs> but I'll harvest all of them and uh, see what I get, see what I don't. Other telltales, if, if you get a really light colored acorn, you know, it's a very light brown. Usually those ones, like this one, those are your desiccated ones. That's one that's completely dried up. 
really hard. It just kind of breaks apart more than, more than pulls apart. So I, instead of trying to rehydrate it, I just toss it. But anyhow, that's kind of the, the processing of acorns, why I do it, uh, why I think more people should do it, because in a single day, you know, I get, I've probably gone through two thirds of them already, massive container um, full of acorns. And so it's a, it's a good staple crop. And oh, that's another thing. They store for years. You know, if you dry them out well inside the shell, the acorns will keep for years. Um, and so it's a great storage crop as you look winter going, uh, fall going into winter, keeping them around, great source of healthy fats and uh, protein, stuff like that. So great nutritional value, not too hard to process. Uh, definitely worth it. That's my video, guys. Frenchy Powell with Permaculture Northeast. If you like this product or this content, a um, little longer form, this video. If you like the content, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel. Thanks for checking us out.